Back in February, First Energy Corporation and Mon Power announced that three power plants in West Virginia would be closed by this September. Just a month earlier, First Energy had announced the closing of six other power plants in Ohio, Pennsylvania, and Maryland. In every case, the providers cited ever-increasing regulations and pressure from the Environmental Protection Agency as the reason that these plants were being closed. While we all demand clean water and clean air, and that is never the point of debate, the current EPA under President Barack Obama and Lisa Jackson have created a complex set of standards designed to make coal-generated power obsolete. As then Senator Obama famously said, So if somebody wants to build a coal power plant, they can. It's just that it will bankrupt them because they're going to be charged a huge sum for all that uh, greenhouse gas that's being emitted. Obama was talking about his cap and trade proposal, an idea that's already been proposed, passed, and signed by Joe Manchin three years ago in West Virginia. House Bill 103 calls for 25% of the power generated in West Virginia come from alternative sources by the year 2025. Alternative energy ranges from wind to burning tires. In just two years in the state of West Virginia, this is what is going to replace coal. Do you know what that's going to do to the economy of the state of West Virginia? And this law is already in effect. It's here. It starts in just two years. The Obama Mansion Jackson EPA is providing a moving target for energy producers. Recently, First Energy spent five years and $1.8 billion upgrading and retrofitting the Samus Power Station just across the Ohio River from New Cumberland, West Virginia. After all of that work and expense, the company is still not sure whether they can comply with this new set of rules recently issued by Barack Obama, Lisa Jackson, and the Environmental Protection Agency. Looking forward, coal will continue to be a major source of electric energy well into the future, yet this administration and their out-of-touch Department of Energy has once again this year lowered the amount of research dollars allocated to clean coal technology. They feel that if they can increase the pain, they will get a better result, force a different reality, but that pain is not so much for these large multi-state companies as it is for the workers and their families who are losing their jobs. A consulting group tasked with charting the long-term economic impact of the new EPA rules nationwide report that regulations will cost our fragile economy 1.4 million American jobs and will bring us, the consumer, rate increases anywhere from 11 to 23 percent. And on a monthly power bill in certain coal-dominated states like West Virginia, that figure could go to 30 percent. The time for hollow words is long past. President Obama and Lisa Jackson will not listen and do not care. Senator Manchin is unable to change the course of these harmful regulations because he, with his statements well before the election season, put his seal on the Obama doctrine. Thank you very much.